It's a huge film. There must be some stuff that didn't make the final cut. Is there anything we can look out for in the DVD? There's a lot of stuff that was cut out of this movie. Tons. Yeah. There's a lot more stuff that happens in Wade's house in the original draft than there's, he has a neighbor, Mrs. Gilmore. There's some stuff in the, the Rebellion Gosh, house. Can we say everything yeah. that's cut? We probably shouldn't be saying that. Probably shouldn't be saying Nothing that. Nothing was caught, everything made it. Come on, <laughs> He's like, no, come on. The whatchamacallit was cut. There was this obscure commu commercial that we have to recite from the from the 1980s in America called, it's a whatchamacallit candy bar, and we had to recite this commercial jingle in a deep southern American accent. Both of you together? Yeah, it annoyed the crew, because we had to do it over and over I know. in this shrill, shrill voice. Yeah, it was, <laughs> no wonder it got cut. Yeah. So this film is all about a hidden Easter egg, and there's also loads of fan references all over. So what's your favorite Easter egg that's in the film? I would say Iron Giant. Mm -hmm. I think Beetlejuice. Blink and you miss him, but he's in there somewhere. I didn't see Beetlejuice. Well, there you go, you have to go and watch it again. Are you able to just give a gist of where we can look out for to find him? Mm, there you go, you gotta go. Yeah. You gotta go and watch it again. How many Easter eggs do you think you're planted? No. Said today, over a thousand, but including he doesn't, music. But, you know, he doesn't even know himself. Everything that's in, in the film. It's literally like there is so much happening and so much you can place in the background. And so I think the only people who actually know are probably the artists who planted them at ILM. This film, all about video games, are you guys gamers yourselves? It was made with the intention that anyone that, or people who have never played a video game in their life could still enjoy the film. But it does have a lot of references to whether it's, you know, old games or there's a scene where we play an Atari. I think there's a lot of references to obviously 80s films and, and pop culture. I, I played a lot of VR games actually before we made this movie, which was which is fun, and I, um, I guess I could call that preparation for the role. No, I just played Sims on my friend's computer because she had a computer before we did. Oh, but that still counts. Yeah, it makes my I made an avatar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.